certified. In a previous episode, I demonstrated how to remove the back and neck of a German-made Ruggieri-style full-sized violin, which I purchased in a New York City thrift shop some 30 years ago for around 40 bucks. This so that I could repair a pretty nasty crack in its front. In this follow-up video, I'm going to reset the neck of this very same instrument. Use of rabbit skin glue dates back some five millennia to ancient Egypt. To musicians, it is critical for its capacity to project volume and transmit rich tonal range. To the luthier, it is invaluable for the relative ease with which parts can, time and time again, be unglued for repair work without damaging the instrument. The challenge of rabbit skin glue, on the other hand, is that for optimal strength, it must be applied at between 62 and 65 degrees Celsius. This and that it sets quite quickly, leaving very little room for error. While most of today's luthiers use temperature controlled glue pots, I gauge my glue temperature in the traditional way, which is to apply it when tiny bubbles begin to form within the pan around the glue jar. Note that if temperatures exceed 65 degrees, the glue's adhesiveness becomes diminished. My neck resetting innovation is somewhat unique in that rather than using clamps and leaving the violin fully strung, which is the more orthodox way, I prefer to use rubber straps, which I pre-cut to size in order to join the pieces firmly into place. I find that my rubber strap method is more efficient than fiddling around with clamps and string adjustment. Additionally, there is often a tendency for the fine tuning levers on the tailpiece to scratch the body surface. The rubber strap alternative helps us to avoid such gaffes. Okay, so 24 hours have passed, and I can now remove the straps. Violins are superbly designed machines, optimally functional, as well as spectacularly beautiful certainly one of the Western world's greatest achievements where form meets function. So much so that rather than keeping my modest collection in their cases, I just can't resist but to have them displayed all around me. In the forthcoming episodes of Zen and the Art of Violin Maintenance, I'll demonstrate how to insert and adjust the all-important, though tiny and unassuming, 55 centimeters of dowel, known as the sound post. We'll also discuss various recipes for concocting and applying the all-important varnish. All this with the objective of achieving superior sound and aesthetic grace.